I mean, Rook H3, Queen D4. So let's see. Okay, I think Rook H3 is forced. I don't know why uh, why Eric Rosen hasn't played it yet, but we'll see. I mean, if, if you don't play Rook H3, I don't really know. Why is he even thinking here? I don't even understand it. Rook H3 is the only move. Because if you go King G1, Rook B8, you're in trouble. And Eric only has five minutes. I don't know why he's thinking so long here. This makes no sense to me. Oh, 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 isn't there a Queen H5? Or not, no. Oh my God, there's Rook H7. Oh my God, there's Rook H7, Queen C7, Queen H8. Oh my God, that's brutal. Let's just checkmate. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Well, Eric C Rook H7 here, that's an absolute, absolutely crushing move. Oh, that's brutal. Because because he kind of can work it out. So Queen H5, G6, you see that you don't get your mate. But he's not going to see it. He's too weak. I think Eric will see it. But find it, bless RNG. Will he find it? Will he find it? Is chess all luck or not? The winning idea is Rook takes H7. Queen H5 allows G6. Will he actually find it? It's a big question mark. Will he find it? 345 and counting. Will he find it? 328. Come on, you gotta spot it, Eric. Come on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, and now he's worse. You guys saw the bar. Oh no. Oh man. And now actually he's worse because he doesn't even have an attack. Like, it's crazy, but after Rook F6, there's no attack here. Black's completely safe. 